Well, come on, guys. Well, we're back out green laning again. It's me, Pete, Hippodrones, Mr. Fish on his CRF 250. We're going to go out on the local lanes, have a bit of fun. It literally hasn't stopped raining for about three weeks. So there's so much water out there. It's actually raining now, so it could just be complete right off this, this video because of water ingress into the cameras, etc. But we're on the little 250 EXCF trying to get him more used to the bike now starting to push myself a little bit more on this now it's gonna be interesting <laughs> oh look at this rain what are we doing whose idea was this it, it was mine let's juice up we do the old go-go juice before we start. A stretchy poo. I had one of those before I came out. Oh. Get us a sticky poo. Oh, you done it now, I'm going to have to buy one of these. Sorry. Oh. Hello. This is just a stretchy poo, mate. <laughs> Shall I lead? Uh, you probably use. <laughs> As I'm the only one knows where we're going. Wait for Mr. Fish aptly named in this weather. Why is he called Mr. Fish? It's not because he's good in the wet, is it? Come on! This is my second ride on this. I'm a beginner when it comes to enduro. I'm rubbish, really. But you've got to learn. You've got to improve your skills. And this bike is a perfect bike to learn on. Well, this is why we want these enduros for the winter, because this is the weather in the winter in the UK. It does not stop raining absolutely disgusting so why not get an enduro for this for the winter it's so much fun you just got to try not to hurt yourself let's fast forward to the lanes because this is pretty miserable oh. any call for the sticky poo yet are we all right for the minute i'm, I'm steamed up already oh that's neutral right so this is the first little lane it's not someone's house it really looks like it is someone's house but it's actually not hey i'm scared already now this bike is way more capable than what I am. We get that out there straight away. I love the idea of off-road, but the reality of it is, it terrifies me. Especially that first lane you go on, it's a bit scary, isn't it? Well, I should really be standing up here. Come on, Chopsy, push yourself. You said you were going to be brave. I'll do what you said. That's quite slippery, isn't it? That's pretty slippery! Where's my sticky poo? Give you a wipe. This one's actually a little bit faster. That was quite a hard one to get me into it after not doing it for ages. Well, Sunday. Grip the bike with your knees and try and let the... Not, I, know, I know the theory, it's the uh, execution that I struggle with. Oh, mama. This looks like it could be deep. It's deep. Thank you. I have to consult my map now. That's a good little warm up anyway, that one. Let's hit it. Over the front of the bike. Get a bit of grip from the front wheel then. That's the plan. That's actually dry down here. I mean, I'm sure people are watching this going, Christ, mate, I, I tuned in to watch someone give him a bloody 250 some, some razzing. I've got some idiots. I wish I could see. <laughs> so this little 250XE is an incredible little bike. It's got the WP Apex suspension on it. Fantastic, fully adjustable, but there's no preload adjustment on the forks as standard. You have to get the little preload adjusters, which are optional extras. But I mean, it's so forgiving, you don't really need to play with the preload too much. It's not like a road bike. 300 mil of travel on the forks, 310 millimeters of travel on the rear shock. Oh. You might want to take the lead down here because I'm shit. Pete's keen, he's keen. Over the brake, it? There he goes. I don't want to see out the <laughs> yeah, same here. Come on, Chops. Be brave now, sir. 
Come on, Chopsy. Drop a cord. Oh, yeah. Come on, catch those boys up, boy. You can do it. I've ridden off road in Spain. I've ridden off road in Portugal. I've been to two A.D. Smith training days. I've been on the motocross experience day. And I'm still terrible. This looks pretty deep. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Come on. There's actually a pig farm here, so this mud is a little bit slurry as well, just for good measure. That is wet. It's time for that sticky poo. There's some poo in that water, I think. There's a pig farm over here somewhere, so I think there's a bit of slurry wash off, runoff. Yeah, you don't want to fall off in that. Only real men do this shit, you know. <laughs> stupid men. Oh yes, I'm sorry, yeah. only stupid men. I think do there's this. something wrong with us. We're not we're not all there, are we? <laughs> What's all that about? He's he's getting a pro! Last time I had him he was a noob! Bloody pro now! Ah, oh, that is wet and shitty. Oh, you you don't get in your mouth. Oh, I'm getting sucked in. I'm getting sucked off. Hang on, there's a dirty grey puddle here. I think it's about reaching that optimum speed that the bike just goes over whatever you're, you're trying to get over. Getting that confidence to, to get to that speed the bike needs to be at, just to ride over the bumps without getting feeling too sketchy. Hey! Oh, hey! Hey! That is slippery there. Jesus! Jesus, that's slippery. Oh, it's styled out, Mr. Fish. Give you that, sir. Oh, I've often used the 360. Where are you? There he is. Oh, Pete's getting sketchy. When you're on the best hardware, there's a bit of pressure, isn't there? <laughs> when you're on the best bike, you're the most capable bike. I mean, just look at the way Pete's weaving through there, there's none of that drama on this. Woohoo! Oh yeah! Bring it on! I nearly threw up then, I've got a mouth full of I've got a mouth, I'm tired of... <laughs> I'm like going... <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, it smells so bad. It tastes like it's all in here now. Should we go do it again? No. <laughs> it's meant to stop raining this afternoon. I don't think that anyone's actually told the weather. Pete wants to do this horrendous downhill now. I was going to avoid it, but if Pete wants to do it, 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 it'll be fun anyway, at least. It'll be fun at least. We'll have a laugh. Potentially break some bones, but we'll have a laugh either way. Yeah, I think. It's that way. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, this is a bit scary. I'm blaming Pete if this all goes wrong. I've been a boxer, ducking and weaving. This is horrendous, this one. Not a moment. In a minute it will be. <laughs> Just let the brakes go. Let it run on. You've got no choice. Pete, I thought we'd have caught him by now. He's come on a lot, old Peter. I'll give him that. Oh, Pete's down. Pete's down already. Whose idea was this? At least I can say it wasn't mine. It was Peter's. You don't even need an engine. So give your legs a good workout. This is where it gets nasty. I hate you, Pete! You could go off, somebody! As the old mate Womble says, there's no point thinking about it. Just got to do it. Jesus, that's scary shit. I don't like it. 
It is easy actually. <laughs> it just looks terrifying. I wish I could see. Oh, I'm steamed up already. You ain't got going yet. Do you want to try and get up it? Yeah. No. <laughs> Whoa, you're right. I think he'll be thankful of that sticky poo in a minute. He might have a friend. Well, that's it, guys. All done. We've just had a coffee. We've warmed up, wrung our gloves out and our socks, ready to head home. So don't forget to check out Mr. Hippodrome's channel for more action. And of course, Mr. Fishy. Don't forget to check his channel. I feel like Sub D now. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> oh, I've, got, I've, got, I've not got armoured fingers. <laughs> Is it what it's a. Uh, oh, missed. I'll do it again. Do it again. That's the sub thing. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys have got over an hour ride home. I've got about 20 minutes. Hey! <laughs>